Hello, this is Lorraine Kelly from lozasart.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on how to draw a circular Celtic knot. Firstly, I find it easy to sketch the basics of the knot on paper rather than doing it directly on the computer. But you might be able to do it all on your device from scratch. This picture is the final outcome of the sketch I did for this knot. So I will take you through the steps. Firstly, either print out a circular graph or draw one with the compass as I did. Draw circles within each other. If you want a uniform design, keep the spacing between each circle the same. If you want to, experiment with the different distances between the circles. Next you put in your angle lines. The more you put in, the more knots you will have. For this one, I divided the circle into quarters and then into fourths again, so there are 16 segments. Less segments will result in larger knots. Then you draw dots where the lines of the segments and the circles intersect. These dots can either be the width of your bands or the widths of the gaps between your bands. For this example, they were the width of the band. Using the dots, I drew the spirals in both directions on either side of the dots, so you end up with this pattern. Now, to do the knot design, draw the gap squares as seen here. After this stage, if I'm going to use ArtRage, I scan this and then insert the image to a layer. Reduce the opacity by clicking on the circle on the layer and then add a layer above to draw on. We are now ready to complete the knot on ArtRage. I have ArtRage 5 still as I haven't upgraded and I am on Windows 10 and use a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. You will see here that I am filling in the gaps between the bands on a layer above the imported image. Now it is time to do the cross hatching. Just think of a basket weave going over and under methodically. You can use another layer on your drawing if you like. At least doing it on a computer it is easy to erase any mistakes you make. Here I reduce the thickness of my pen for the more intricate work. Now I add a layer to do a final knot design and I reduce the opacity of the layer below for tracing over on this example, I used the paint tube with gold and the metallic setting quite high so that it will look like metal in the end. Now I add another layer and bucket fill it black. I was happy how it turned out so I decided to make a stencil in case I wanted to use it at a later date. You right click on the layer and click on stencil to layer. I then save it to a collection. Now I am bucket filling each section of the basket weave. This mandala took me about five hours to complete in total. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.